But yeah, man, I, I think every man has their preferences. And but I think growing up yeah. for me, it changed as I grew. So what was it when you were younger? Interesting. It, it had to be nice hair. Mm. And... I like the natural thing. And one that can take banter, not something that's... Yeah. Too... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emotional. Yeah. Not when emotional, but like, I could banter with you. Yeah. Because uh, back, oh, back then anyway, whenever you try to banter with girls, they just look at you like... What's going on? What you, you get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did but they didn't go... And I, I said it before that with guys, yeah, our whole thing is, our whole thing's banter. Holding each other accountable. Mm. Laughing at each other. Yeah. But... If we can't laugh at each other, then it's... A lot, a lot of... Not, not, not all, but like, a lot of groups of females that I've like, that, I'm, that I've been around and I've spoken to, one thing they like to do is um, they, they like to give their friend right in a situation where they're wrong. And yeah. they don't, like, even if we put it off as banter, like, if a man comes to me and says, oh, brother, I cheated, man. She's leaving me, whatever, whatever. I won't even necessarily banter. I'll be like, bro, it's your fault. Like, come on, you yeah. want to deal with it. Like, what's, what's going on? Do you want me to make you feel better about the whole cheating thing? No, nah, it's not going to happen, bro. Yeah. Like, you cheated, innit? Like, face, yeah, you face the consequences, but I feel like with, Sometimes with women, they make them feel they they make their friend because you know there's the there's the because women are naturally more emotional than us, isn't it? It's just yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah. Because they are, I think their friends they see how they see their friend feeling down and they want to uplift them, so they naturally go towards ah oh, you know you're making them feel better. Yeah, before. I want to make you feel better. And, oh, it's not really your fault. Issue. This is that. But the problem with that is they start to justify why they, why, why they're, they their are, actions how they are. are their actions. Yeah, yeah. that's not the right way because they're, they're never going to learn. Facts. Um, and then. With that, they don't get the harsh banter thing. That's what I think, anyway. Fairs. You know what I'm saying? But when you find someone that can take the banter... Oh. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. And they're giving it back. And they give it back. It's yeah. a whole fucking that's, competition. That's, that's where it's techie. Yeah. When they can give it and take it. Bro, die. On that note... Right. RIP, Mr. Kevin Samuels. Bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> People were happy he was dead. People were celebrating. Right. It's Throwing parties and that. Spaces. Throwing parties. Uh, not actual parties. Right, 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 right. Twitter spaces and everybody's excited. Do you know what? Did, did I find that weird. I can't lie. No, it is weird. weird. Because, do you know what? I think Ovi, Ovi posted something and he was like... Um, yeah, I see it. I yeah. see it, yeah. He was like, there's nothing... Like, you can't... I find it weird that people are celebrating a man's Someone's death. death, yeah. And like, people were on him in the comments for that. They were on Ovi? Yeah. Yeah, brazy. brazy. They were on him. But yeah, I, get, I get what he's saying. Like... Forget how my man was for a right. sec. Someone has passed away. Where's your humility, bro? Someone's died. I'm telling you, bro. Remember, we keep saying the world's going to shit, bro. Yeah, yeah it's I gone, keep man. telling you, bro. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Like, but, but there's a lot of there's a lot of things that's been said about my man which I didn't see. What's that? Apparently, he used to promote um, domestic violence or some shit, like abuse abusing women and. How much of this is actually valid? Again, I didn't see none of this. Oh, swear. Uh, a lot of people, since he's passed, have said, then happy he's passed away. He's somebody that used to incite violence, hate towards black women, all of these things. Okay, this is the problem, though. That's, this is the issue. I feel like we have topic, like, people have these, they have, they have a certain way of saying things. How can I put this? Because I really want to get this out. So, all right, for example, yeah, they will say hate towards black women, but I saw a clip the other day, and he was saying, he was like to the woman, how tall are you? Mm-hmm. And she was like, "Oh, I'm this tall." And I said, like, "What's your what's your weight?" She was like, "Oh, like it's not about my weight. I told you I'm fat already." If there's a black woman, if it was a black woman that's speaking, a bunch of people are gonna say he's promoting hate towards black women because he because answered she's that black. question. Okay, because she's black. But let's be real here. What was he getting at? What was his point? Because a lot the people that actually listen to him closely, I've heard a couple things from my man. Yeah, I get what he's saying. I also get why people would be pissed off. I get it. One thing about him, he is very, very, very harsh. But harsh in the terms of he ain't sugarcoating nothing for no one. Right. He will say it how it is. Because in today's today society, everything is sugarcoated. No one's sugar-coated. trying to hurt no one. Everyone's stepping on eggshells. Was soft, man. He was one person that would say it how it is. Right. And I feel like that's why a lot of people didn't like him. Because when I listen to his shit and I'm, and I'm listening to him and he's getting onto these girls, I'm agreeing with half of the shit he's saying because he's right. right. It ain't, it's not like he's chatting shit. And I'm sure he was getting onto men as well. 
Are you going to Bear Brothers? Exactly. Bear Brothers, but no one, no one ever talks yeah, about that. Exactly. Because it's man them. It's only about the girls. Right. What he's saying, 50%, 60% of the time he, when he was talking, he was, spit, he was spitting facts, bro. Right. He was not, but his delivery was straightforward. He wasn't rude. Right. He was straightforward. Mm -hmm. He didn't lie. He didn't right. sugarcoat. And he didn't, he didn't try and protect their feelings. And yes. I think that's why a lot of the people don't like him. And then they take these labels. And then they use the fact that because the person he's speaking to is black, it's right. hate towards black, just yeah. black women. Did there he? Uh, but to be fair, to their defense, mm. I don't think I ever saw him speaking to any other woman. Of, like, what culture is he part of? Who does he care the, about? The black community, of right. course. But so why am I speaking to a, a different group? But then of that's people? why they say it's hate towards black women because he's only talking to black women. You can see it as hate towards black women. Or hate towards black men because he was only speaking to black men as well. Because yeah. we, we could have pulled that card, but we didn't because we know what it is. And don't don't ever get it twisted. He got into some of the man them mad, mad. But he's brother. just holding his people but accountable. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Because he wants his people to be better. Bro, the, we we spoke we've spoken about like we've actually spoken yeah, we've about, spoken about him bare before. times. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The the state of it is crazy. It's crazy, bro. And it's it's funny you said all those things. Yeah, you said he um. He's straightforward. Yeah, very straightforward. I strongly believe a lot of people in this world, they don't like... When someone's straightforward. 95% yeah. of people don't like when someone's straightforward. Facts. Because they can't handle the they truth. They can't take it, yeah, yeah, And it's yeah. what you just said as well. He's not lying. He's telling the truth. When you have the truth in your in your face, you can take it one, you can, you can take it one of two ways. You can either take it as, this person's taking the piss out of me, or you could take it as, there's something that I need to improve on. So if I take, the, take in this information, I'll improve on it. A lot of people complain about in the workplace, this person's being rude to me or harsh to me, that person's being harsh to me. I get that black people get treated different in the workplace. I understand it. But it's sometimes, there's just sometimes where someone's speaking to you in a way, they might be upset because they're passionate about their role in the, the company. Some people actually love the company that they work, they work for mm. and they want to do well. If they're giving you improvements, if, if they're telling you to improve on certain things that you can actually improve on, then take that in. Then man. take it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if they deliver it in a certain way, what are but you going to do to make think, sure you don't get that again? I think that's where the issue is. Why are you delivering it in that way? People, but then it's because people like to to hear things that sugarcoated. When you sugarcoat things, can... so much things get lost, bro. So many real stuff gets lost. That's the problem. Literally, someone, I think it was Ambush that put it on his snap today, yeah? This is, a, and I, I can't actually, I never saw this video before of Kevin Samuels talking about um, him wanting everyone to be together. I'm going to play it for you right now. Come on, man. Yeah, one person. <laughs> I want to see black men and black women together, but I want to see black women valuing black men as black men deserve to be valued. Right. Black men, you are worthy. You have done great things in the last 20 and 30 years. You've taken your image back from cops, deadbeat dads, and everything else. You've stepped up to the challenge, right. and this is your time. This is your time. The gender war is over. Right. Average at best happened in 2021. That is over. 2022, we're going into it. Self-awareness is sexy. Men are going to show the work and women are going to show their worth. We're going to move forward. To, we're going to move forward. And if you want to move forward together with us, men are there waiting for you. Men are there working for you. But you're going to earn your spot because he has to earn his value. Yeah. Right. Don't let that go over your head. you got to earn your spot because he has to earn his value. Do you know what, though? I think, th but this is the issue. I, I see why people could be upset with him because we need to also understand that there's a lot that black women do that, that the black men, yeah, yeah, facts. they don't appreciate. 100%. And I think him admitting that is the issue. It's yeah. why they will say he's against or whatever. I, me, as someone who's very neutral, I get what he's trying to do. Facts. He's just more on the side of the men, right? And we don't have enough for that. I'm gonna be real. Of he's course. Done. And, and the one brother that was the striker for us. He's off. He's gone. Oh, he's hit the stairs. <laughs> he's, he's, he's got subbed off. He's hit the stairs. He's he didn't retired. get subbed off. Contract he retired. expired. He retired. <laughs> he retired. He retired. He retired. He retired. Um, and so I get I get where he's trying to go with it. I, I get where he was going with it. But because he wasn't as mentioning as much for black women, I see why people will think that. But that's not to say he hates them. He's promoting whatever against them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He's just rooting for the man then. Why? Because he's a guy. Yeah. If there he's was a, a woman man. that was neutral, I'm pretty sure if there's a woman that was actually neutral. If there was a female version, sorry to cut you. If yeah, there was a female version of him that it'll, passed away. It'll be the same the thing. Energy. No, I'm saying it'll be the same oh, thing. It'll be the same thing. Same but way the that energy he's saying it. Yeah. Won't be the same. Of Do you think not. man them would be no, no, happy no, no, no. that she's passed away? No, 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 no. 100% not. 100% not. And but that's I, and that's yeah. the stance that I'm coming with is the fact that love him or hate him, someone's passed away. Right. Just say your RIPs and keep it and moving, then man. People are celebrating. They're happy that someone's part. That energy is weird. That's very weird, man. Very, very weird. Oh, we weren't raised like that. Never. So, man, people are losing... I, I already speak. I already said this to you. Uh, anyway, people are losing their... Um, what, they were, what they were raised with. Facts. It's facts. You know what I'm saying? They're going into a, a, a different a different style and a different way of thinking. And I, I think it's where we live. The Americas, the, the fucking England. Like... It's a, it's not a sentimental thing. Back, back home, if someone passes away back home, it's a sentimental thing. Yeah, yeah facts. It's serious. Yeah, man. But here we've turned it into oh, like because my mom was saying that on the internet, him dying, losing his life, he'll get banned on the internet. It's celebrated. Yeah, yeah. That's fucked. That's crazy, man. That's crazy to think about. But um, oh, I even had. But yeah, man. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels, man. He rid for the man them. He did ride for the man them, man. And we don't, we don't have a lot of man. Do you know what it is? I don't think a lot of men are scared. I just don't think a lot of men are bothered because I feel like my man from sorry to cut you again. Done. That podcast. Fresh and fit. He tries to he tries to be Nah man, he's But he does you know it, it in the most fugacious <laughs> way. He does it Do in a it bad way. But I feel like he tries to kind of be in that lane. Kind of. I understand like where he comes tapped. from sometimes as well. But he's tapped sometimes. But he, and he's too, he you does. don't need to be that rude. He's rude. That's he's it. He's mad rude. He's mad rude. I said, mad I'm, t- rude. I'm speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking. <laughs> I'm like, brother, chill, yeah, man. He's like. rude. He's rude. You get me, but I get some of the points he's making. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, who said it best? Fred from 90s, babies. He said, he said as man them, especially as black men, we're the woman's safety net. We haven't got a safety net. Facts. Do you know what I'm saying? It's facts. It's facts. So there's a lot of pressure on us, bro. Bro, we have all the pressure is all on us. All the pressure's on us. And everything else. Everything we're else. Even, everything, everything, everything else. Everything, everything, else. Else. everything so is on us. Where do we put us? And black women are very, very good at supporting black men. They're very good at it. The ones They're, that do. The ones that do. Mm-hmm. They're very good at it. But the ones that are bashing us, it's like, bro. The total opposite. How do we get here? And how do you, how are you so blasé? Now, a lot of it, I believe, comes from bad experiences that they're putting on everyone. Yeah, but that's with everything, though, isn't it? Exactly. You, you have one bad experience with one thing, you paint everyone with the same brush. And people need to stop doing that. It's true still. And people don't like the truth. So they wouldn't even want to hear that out. <coughs> yeah. You can't take one bad experience and be like, I'm going to put it on everyone else. Mm. How the hell do you change? you got to take the bad experience and say, okay, cool. I'm going to change the way I am because there's a certain way that I was that, I let, that allowed it to happen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to put that out there. Hmm. In every bad experience anyone has, there was uh, something, there's something about you, let, you that... There's that a you red let, flag that you allowed. Yeah, to, that you, to, let, you, to, you allowed. To, yeah. Once you can just change that, you might not even experience that bad thing again. It's true. Stuff. But instead of that, people will go online and cry. And then people, other people will be like, yeah, hey, you're right, that. blah, blah, whatever. So they think it's okay to do that. But it's not. When you want to face the truth, <laughs> when you want like to face truth, the truth, you, like the truth you will certainly see. I'm telling you, bro. Listen, I've got one scenario before you jump onto the next topic. Go yeah? ahead. And I know where I'm going with the next one. <laughs> All right, cool. Mr. Riari, make sure you're listening to the scenario. I want to hear both of your, um, your takes on this, yeah? Right. You go to a party. As we do. As we do. Mm-hmm. Man, the <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Um, you see, like in the, you're in the dance or whatnot, and you see your boy's girl in the dance as well. But he ain't there. Right. You know where he is. He's he's either out with his family or he's he's busy, so he right. ain't there. His girls there with her girls. They're doing their thing. You're doing your thing. Right. But I don't think they've clocked you. Okay. Oh, she's okay. I'm in she, VIP. She in, ain't clocked you. Yeah. I'm in VIP. You're in she, VIP on your own table. She's, she's in, in Gen Pop. She's in Gen Pop. Yeah. <laughs> She's with everybody. Right. And then um, you see her getting two, two, move to two, two, two guys. And mm-hmm. it happens. And then you see her with one particular Donnie who's moved to her. Pally, Pally and, and friendly. And uh, yeah. right. You see the hugs, the, the type of hugs. The hug is full on. Yeah. Right. And then they start to whine and they start to dance and he's bringing the shots in and 
You can see his target. That's his target. He said, "Woo!" Yeah, you know the ones. <laughs> <laughs> you know the ones. When the man says "woo," yeah, you know he's yeah. doing the crazy that night. Yeah. Oh shit! So he's got his target. Mm. That's that's your boy's girl. And yeah? she's allowed. To... And then them two disappear. You're still doing your thing, party and whatnot, and you're you're trying to kind of keep an eye, but you're obviously trying to party. And then right. you've clocked after a certain point. You've clocked. Wow, that guy that's doing the woo. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And the girl, yeah. they've disappeared. Right. Cool. Next day, your boy calls you. Oh, yeah. Missus is on me. She caught me in another girl's DMs. Da 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 da. da. She's on me. Like, she's proper on me. She's screaming, shouting. Da 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 da. <sighs> Do you tell your boy about the madness the night before? Oh. Yes or no? God. To me, that's an easy one. That's 100%. <laughs> I'm telling him. You ain't even thinking about it. Right. Woo! Let's go. My boy, um, he was at his mowing. <laughs> so you can hear it, yeah. So, so yeah, my, my boy wasn't at this ish, both max. <laughs> I'm not too, you know, he used to go to those uni parties back in the day now. Been to a couple. Been to a there was one big party, I think it was called that YOLO Monday. Okay. It was a big party. My boy didn't go, but his girl went. And the guy that I went, and obviously I'm noticing that she's there having fun, whatever. And then a couple men try and chat to her, this and that. And I already told her before, like, well, first of all, my boy messaged me, like, oh, yeah, yeah, friends in, like, keep an eye out, whatever. Yeah. Like, oh. So, right. So, you gave her the download Yeah, so, so, so he said, yeah, he said, no, 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 it's there, innit? Um, just, yeah, keep an eye out, whatever, innit? So, then I, I can't remember exactly what happened, but long story short, she must have whined with someone. Then I must have just like went to her in it and just kind of like hoiled her up, ruined her night a little bit. In the middle of the night. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I think I think I think um it wasn't in the middle of the night. I think I must have caught her just as she was wrapping up in it. Oh, okay. So then when my man went, <laughs> so she was wrapping, wrapping, up, up. wrapping up the wine. When, when my man went, I told her she was a bit upset, like annoyed because I'm I'm basically killing her night. But I don't know. I feel like me, I'm a bit what's the word like territorial about my boys in it because technically. And like we're like a big family, innit? Yeah, so right. if if you're messing with my boy's girl, you're messing, you. you're messing with me, innit? Yeah. So no, and that's what that's the type of answer I was gonna give. It depends on who the guy is. Do you know what I'm saying? What who's the, who's my boy? Your boy, bro. Is it my? Like, your, is it? But like, this us man that went out on Saturday. Look at the lineup. Right. Team sheet. <sighs> It was, that was a good, what was it, five-a-side? Five-a-side That was an team. amazing five-a-side team, oh, you know. We're winning every competition, everybody. And if it was one of them, one, one of us. No, ones. if it was one of you lot. Yes, in hindsight, I would. But I'll tell you why I'll be skeptical. I've said this before. Sometimes when you get involved in someone's relationship, they will bond. And f- come to you. Right. <laughs> or... When they get back, they will bond over not talking to you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you lose your boy. You're the scapegoat. You become the scapegoat. You Do you get what I'm scapegoat. saying? The thing is, if it happened without me being there, I really don't care. Yeah, of but course. The fact I can see there, it, don't yeah. put it in front of me. Right. Yeah. What makes it worse? If I okay. didn't see, I don't care. One sec. So you see how your boy gave you the download from before? Yeah. Does that mean he was paranoid about his girl? Probably. That's yes. Fucked. Yes. I think they, was on, they was like, they, they were iffy. Like the best of terms. Okay. Ah, you gotta let it, you gotta let it slide. Huh? <laughs> you gotta let it slide. You, you gotta let it slide. Anybody can happen that night. <laughs> yeah, remember I was telling you, any any breath. But you look like <laughs> <laughs> the any breath. But you like taking in the situation. Gone. The day after, she's on you for being in the next girl's DMs. Yeah, yeah, yeah but we women are territorial. Just like you were saying you're territorial. Women are territorial coming. Oh. <laughs> women are ter- territorial, innit? So Regardless of if they're doing badness, and men do it as well. Regardless yeah, yeah, if you're doing badness, you're gonna get upset. Yeah. yeah. But actually, I have my answer. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll tell. You say I'll tell because because you're doing the madness. What you feel like you can come in, and then no. um, yeah, because you've already yeah. found out the madness. Now let's let's just put all the cards on the table now. All right. And then you lot can see if you can make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or if you got you got a flush or I don't know you what gotta you got. Give, you gotta give one. You have to give him a bullet, man, to shoot back. Man. Right. Just take a shot, so you have right. to give him a bullet to shoot. But back. in the same time, they've both done the madness. The they can get together. The and then she can be like, 
your boy chats too much, you know? I don't need to chat Why is he watching anymore. me in the dance? Oh my, yeah, why is he watching me in the you, What's on now? You got your friends spying on me. <laughs> what? You're pissed off that, you know? Are you dumb? Yeah, man. Would you get involved? Like, if you saw... I'll, uh, what, if I... Do you if know what? I've seen it. Dance. Like, what you done? Yeah, yeah. Must have breaking no. up the play. No. Are you breaking up the play I, on the no. DM? I'm reacting. I shouldn't have got involved. But still, um, I think I like a little bit of... Break Press up the play. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you know what? If... It depends, man. Because obviously, in your situations, there's no DMs, innit? Yeah. There's no DMs on the other side. If I knew my boy was good, he was a good, he loved this breaking girl. Up the play. Breaking up the play. I'm breaking up the play. I can't lie. I'm going there. The friend DM. card, yellow card. Bre- yeah, yeah, yeah. Break up everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Yeah, I'm sending. Facts, facts. I'm sending the guy off and her. Or I'll just give her a look. Yeah. And that look says, I know what you're doing. And I'm going to tell Some my people are breezy. Anymore. They'll get the look and they don't care. All right. They'll next morning on. or next day. We'll see if you still have that same energy, boy. That's the only time man's snitching. <laughs> is that okay, lads? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that okay? Fact, fact, fact. That's the only time man's snitching. But that's a serious scenario, cop, boy. Yeah, that man. That was some bare people, you bare know? Bare people, bro. Bare people, bruv. But a lot of people don't say anything. They don't want to get involved. Mm. And let me tell you this right now. Let me tell you like this right now. Flip the genders around. Oh. Flip the gender. Not, not even flip the genders around, but put it as another flip gender. The, so it's a roles, girl. The role. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even the role, but like, if it was, say it was you and your girl was out and it Her wasn't friends me. Her me. No, it oh, wasn't me. Oh, right, right, right. It was right, a girl you know. Right. It was a girl you know that saw. You didn't, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She won't tell you yeah, because yeah. she's trying to be on to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The streets are a messy game. <laughs> she's moving closer to you. And it's messy. She's telling you stuff like, you know what? People ain't the way you think they are, you know? Yeah, Some yeah. people are just different. Sometimes who you really should be with for night is right in front <laughs> of you. You ever got that line? <laughs> They're right in front of you. Right in front of you. Now, a lot of the girls I deal with are short, so I'm seeing over you. <laughs> I might be looking at someone else. Yeah? yeah it's it's breezy. Fun. That was the only scenario I had for you. Nah, it's man. breezy, man. But it's breezy. And you got to be careful. You got to be careful because you can end up in a mad predicament. You can end up as a dickhead in the whole situation. Mm, but speaking of dickheads, that's when in the situation. My man that tried to tackle Dave Chappelle at his own that's that's a rugby tackle show. Him. You tried to rugby tackle him. What's the time? I'm putting the picture up and I'm actually going to do it this time because you know sometimes I leave it out. Brothers, <laughs> my man's arm is broken. His, from. Arm, his is arm is out of here. His, bro, his arm's out of here. And the worst thing is they handcuffed him. Now you spoke about the fucking swelling on his head. Yeah. The swelling was so bad, yeah. I thought it was like a one picture <laughs> to another. <laughs> like, no, it looks like his head. cut yeah, off, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's his head, bro. Crazy. He man out. So apparently he was um, a trans guy and he tackled... Wait, what do you mean? Apparently, he was a trans guy. So, uh, again, it's, my ed- education when it comes to these things, yeah, is, is way. If you off. don't know, you don't know, man. If trans you is can't get upset at you, bro. So, is it a, a girl that was a guy? Oh no, uh, t- turn trans it. is just a transformation, so it can be either way. Yeah, but in this case, is it a girl that's a guy or hey, a guy no. that's getting into a girl? I'll be, I, I'll be he so. His, he had his nails painted. Yeah, I'll be so honest, bro. I don't know what he was. I don't know what. Yeah, what it was. So he, he had hate for, for Dave Chappelle. Chappelle because of the trans jokes that he's yeah, had in the past. Exactly. And there was a protest. I saw the chat protest to get man locked off. Who, Dave Chappelle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they've there was. It they've tried it before. The thing about With Netflix the, and everything as well. The, the thing about it is you can't like you just can't, man. Like this guy had a this guy had a trans woman opening for him. Yeah, you can't beat that. There was that, a man. trans comedian. You can't beat that, man. Opening you for him. You can't beat that. You can't so beat if that. she can accept him, and she got a lot of hate for it, by the way, and she ended up dying. Yeah, she ended up dying, and people were, again, happy at her death and that. Oh, that's fucked. And he said on his show, he shocked everyone. He's like, yeah, I had a trans woman opening for me, and she died. And you lot didn't know that. But everybody gets onto me for getting onto trans people. The thing about comedy is they get onto everyone, man. Yeah, no one's safe when it comes to the comedy. No one's thing. safe, man. And then Chris, Chris Rock tried to jump on stage and. <laughs> How about that was Will Smith? Try to do Will Smith tricks. <laughs> Big man, you got PTSD from the slap, man. Cool down, man. He saw therapy? Will Smith. He saw Will Smith still. <laughs> but um, that's scary, man. How did he get onto the stage? That's my question. Security. And apparently he had a, he had a strap and a, and a knife on him. And a, well, he had both. He had both. Security. Mm, man. Shit that day, boy. Brother looks wounded, man. Finished. Nose painted black. Nose bleeding. S- sounds, like the, on the head. sounds like the woman that you were, you were describing at a yard the other day. <laughs> With a scenario. Um, how can you be so angry? I don't understand. And why do you resort to violence? Now, I know for black people, it's something that um, has come up in our history 
a bit and we've we've gone we've gone towards violence because sometimes that's 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 the only way we're heard. But like why have you resorted to violence when part of what you're gonna be protesting against is violence against your people? Yeah, There's people yeah. out there that are trans, gay, um, I don't know all of the, the LGBTQ, who would have been subject to violence because of their skin sexual color. orientation and their skin colour. And and this and your skin colour and stuff like that. And you resorted to violence as protest. Why are we doing that? I don't yeah, understand. Yeah. Why is that your form of and you got your shoulder busted? But it's, uh, somebody somebody said this in the track, but they only respect violence. I think it was Jay Huss. They only respect yeah, violence. Yeah, they only respect violence. And that's why. You have to do the braziness for them to hear you out. Do we respect violence these days though? These days, not so much. Yeah. Back, back in the day, yeah. I think it's distasteful because the times are changing. Yeah, yeah So you can't, really, you can't really go now and be tackling man on stage because no one's going to even take in what you're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's too brazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I was quite confused. When I saw it, Dave Chappelle looked rattled, by the way. Not rattled, but he looked... Bro, he was doing his show and he was like, I want to see what's going on. Mm. So he left the stage and he went and he's like, yeah, let me let me see what's going on or whatever. Security just took him the fuck out. They stamped, fucked him up. Stamped him out. Stamped him out. Shoulder all fucked up. And in the end of it, the feds handcuffed him to the hospital. To the hospital. <laughs> now, they always do that, though. If if the person that's that's committing a crime gets injured and they're getting medical attention, they're always handcuffed. Why did they head. handcuff the fucked up shoulder though? Because it was already fucked up. You said you can't, you can't already, feel it. Already, yeah, you can't feel it. <laughs> his, his shoulder was done for. His shoulder was done. Do you know the first time I saw it? Yeah, it was like it was like a montage of clips from it, innit? So there was the there was the clip where he ran up to him. I don't know what he tried to do, like um, fucking spare him. Yeah, yeah, like it looked that, like yeah. he tried to. Yeah. And it didn't work. I, f- I swear. No, Dave Chappelle dropped, didn't it? I, th- I thought he moved out of the way. I f- he <sighs> well, he caught, he caught him, but he like... He moved out of the way and like, yeah, yeah. kind of fumbled a bit. I don't know, innit? But then, if you're going to go on stage, get man properly. Yeah, That's facts, my thing. Facts. Then like... Then I saw I saw clips of it. Then I see the clips of them in the background or whatever. Then I saw them loading him in, into the, the, into the hospital. Yeah. That's when I clocked the shoulder. The arm. I was like, it's not I'm going to talk about how my man's <laughs> shoulder looks like Aaron Ramsey's leg, bro. Like, what's going on, bro? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. His shoulder, his shoulder was gone. I, bro, I had to do this. I when said, I saw that, I was like, ooh, <laughs> that man fucked him up. They fucked him up. <laughs> <laughs> they fucked him up. When I saw that, I Shoulder said, yeah, they're mad. Crazy. Man him. They battered him. So I said to myself, rah, like, this is, this is actually mad. Um, and then Dave went and watched it or whatever, and, and it was all brazy, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I really don't know for, for situations like that. I just don't think violence is necessarily it's the answer. answer. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Um, what time is that? Yeah, man, like, you do your protests and stuff like that. The thing is, the, the maddest thing about it is, Dave Chappelle's never changing. He's, he's never changed. Of how old is my man? Of course not. Of course not. He's old, man. He must be going up to 50 he's now. His, yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, think he's going to change how he speaks mid- about people? Yeah, he's been doing this. He's never going to change. Let's Just be real. It, so you went and injured yourself. You got yourself done up and my man's not changing. You're not making any noise. Everybody knows you now for the guy that's got a fucked up shoulder. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end it. And the cold, you know what I'm saying? But um, more on violence. You sent me the video of the video going viral because the girl's dad and this is going to be something for all of us the girl's dad pulled out a strap while oh wait his daughter daughter's and, getting his daughter's in a fight and yeah, man man backed up the pulled strap, out a strap and pointed it at the girl that's would you have done the same no way not a what? strap not a strap bro they're kids man how old are these lot they're they're at least seven eight Maybe nine. What? No, they're bro, kids, they're bro. Way, way, they're way older. Than pre that, the video, no, no, no. They're kids, bro. Pre the video, they are kids. Nah, bro. Come. You on. didn't pre the video properly. They're uh, children. Do you know? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not watching the girl like that. They're children. You know what I'm saying? 